Let's go ahead and change the login, register and other pages from the default Laravel style to our admin panel template. Under the public admin directory, you can see all the pages that we currently have in our admin template. So this is how our login page will look like. So I'm simply going to copy this code and paste it in the login here. But before doing that, I want to comment all this code in here. And I want to remove extends and section. Now, if I navigate to the login, you can see that there is a missing CSS and JS. Let's fix it. Great, as you can see now our login looks exactly the same as the one from the template. Now we need to implement some logic in here. And we can copy it from the code we commented earlier. And since we don't have a form defined here, we will have to create new one. Within the form tag, we need CSRF field email input should have name of 
email and we want to display it red if there is something wrong with the email field. Now, if there are any errors for the email, we want to display the message here. Now, do the same for the password field. Great. Now let's test and check if this login actually works. So in the first try I'm going to type the wrong password. And nothing happens. For some reason this button doesn't work. And that is probably because it is not under the form tag. Now let's refresh and try once again. And clearly we are getting the error that these credentials do not match our records. But now let's enter the correct password. And as you can see, we are successfully logged in. Now we can remove this code we commented earlier. And we can transform this into the layout. So we are going to create a new one, which is going to be named auth.blade.php. So I'm going to copy all of this, paste it here, and then I'm going to cut this container element. And we are going to use yield here and give it a name of content. Now back in our login, we can remove everything. Now we are going to extend the out layout. Create a new section named content and close it.
now let's log out and as you can see the login page is working now the cool thing i would like to use is i would like to update this title dynamically since we are using extended layout so i'm going to define one more element here which is going to have name of title now back in the login view i'm going to create new section title and i will give it title of login and as you can see we are getting title login